Breaker 26, breaker 26 for a rail check. We're trying this out. We're in manual mode right now. That's automatic mode right there. It will go down when it switches over if it wants to, but you have to switch this thing off. Trying out my auto tuner on this channel on the Quad 5 Top Gun with the Turnip S2. Look at the SWR meter right there. Look at the SWR meter right there. It's really quite accurate, guys. Looking good, looking great. Watch what I'm gonna do. And imagine my beam, it'll do good. It just like, yeah, if I have to take this thing off the thing. We don't hear nobody on sideband. I just talked to a truck a while ago with this thing about up by the interstate. He was hitting seven pounds. He must have had a basic stock radio. But it doesn't do on FM because I tried it. Let's try it. That's all straight coming at 7.30 in the evening. Let's try it with this tuner on the Mako V5000. This is the tuner that's going to run on my... Um, it's going to do good for this radio, but 26 watts. I, is that right on this radio? Is that accurate for a quad 5? Cause I got it all turned up on the Turner Plus 2. Sometimes it does 39. I've seen it 52 watts on this thing, the highest I've seen on the quad on this thing. You can't trust that thing all the time, but at least it will work. That's a Australian. CQDX, 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 call it CQDX. This is UDX 362 from East Tennessee. How about those stations down to land down under? I can hear you guys out there way in the distance. Can anyone hear me out there? Hey, this is a bad today, guys. But I just talked to a truck a while ago. See how beautiful this thing is? But I'll show you in a second. It'll mess things up. Not likely. Watch what I'm going to do. We're going to jump over to 26 megahertz with this beautiful radio in 10 minutes. It's in manual mode right now. See, this went into automatic, automatic mode is like this thing. The dash means when it's in dots, and that's automatic mode. It's in manual mode. See, this thing does its auto stuff. It's an amazing tuner. I think 390 should review it. Should get one of these tuners and try it on this radio, see if it works. He needs to get this AT100 put together like I did for months. You guys are gonna love it. This will be good for beam antennas. We're gonna make sure our UDX logo goes on this thing. Looking beautiful today on this thing. But I think it's gonna be a successful, but we have to run a box in it, don't fry this thing. This is gonna be for the um this SY um the serial SY27. That's how it's saying, but you can always get a better tuner later on. But I had to got this thing for $17 back during Christmas, guys. You remember that? It's got a power supply running back here. You guys can see it. Prove you no wrong. We got the antennas hooked up right. The other part is the antenna on that side to go far to the microphone right here. So when I run it on this thing, it's running 12 volts on this thing right now. It is a beautiful thing. So I got everything hooked up right because I color coded this thing. You guys seen it a while back. It's looking great. We could probably run a box in this too. I don't know. But this is going to be for the two, uh, the beam antenna I'm going to put together in a good time. In about two weeks, my brother will be able to leave here soon. Then I'll be able to do more stuff. Don't worry, I got all my other stuff up here. You guys are great. I'm going to try something really crazy. You guys are going to love it. Let's turn this thing off right now and I'll show you the difference. See how high the SWR is at the 1.5? If it gets up that area, we're going to go way down to the band. I'm going to try something really crazy. You guys are going to hear it when it tunes. So, let's take a look. I'm surprised they handle 26 megahertz. 495. Yeah, it would do that 1.5. It was like around 500 when it did it. 
still way down to 25 megahertz. See this bad boy will do it. I know it's gonna look crazy. That's the lowest band of 26 megahertz. See? Do it again. Let's go down 25. Let's try this. We set it. Let's do it. Got some Spanish stations on 25 megahertz. There you go, 1.6. It changed the SWR on the meters. You see that, guys? Did you see that, guys? Let's talk to Puerto Ricans down south. Mocho Glacius, Mocho Glacius from Tennessee, UDX 362, waving back to you guys down in Puerto Rico and Mexico. Hope you guys can hear me on the Mako V5000 on an auto tuner. I'm going to wave it back to you guys down in Puerto Rico, Mexico, South America. Mocho Glacius, have a good day. 362 from Tennessee, United States. God, wouldn't that be amazing to talk to them? Stupid spiders up there, it's great. You see that? It did itself. Let's see what this thing baby's gonna do. I'm gonna turn this microphone all the way down so it does not fry at the 10 watts. There it goes. Twenty nine watts. Audio see. We gotta reset this right now. Okay, let's do it. It's kind of crazy, but this will mess up the auto tune in the place. You have to get this over to something else. See? Crazy crap. See, it messes up your tuner this way. We'll have to go back to the normal area. Let's go back to 26. See? It'll do fine. Let's go to go to AM. That's what we do. Do an auto tune that way. One point fifteen, perfect. Sometimes you have to do that. It's pretty good. Let's try it. Audio testing one two three. Audio testing one two three. Let's go back up to the lower side band. See, this thing's really hot. It's not even that hot. Not that hot at all. Grill's not hot. That's good. Check it. Audio checker one two three. Audio checker one two three. Breaker one two six. Call CQDX. Call CQDX. UDX three sixty two. Trying on a test. So it's looking good.
Take it down to that and try to get that screw off. One point nineteen. Let's go back to channel D. Looking good at one point one on channel one. Watch. Showing one point two nine. But it's showing one point one. Look at that. What the shooting you saw? 1.23 So this is manual mode, see? That's manual mode, it's showing 1.26 I can't trust that thing But it's doing that It's showing to 1.1 on the other one Let's see Audio checking 1, 2, 3 Audio checking 1, 2, 3 It's showing 1.26 on this channel Audio 1.3 1.26 audio check it one two three looking quite good on channel one channel one test it one two three audio check it one two three channel 40 audio check it one two three audio check it one two three 106 106 looking good on the reeker scale 106 105 not too bad at 35 watts audio check it almost 40 testing one two three audio check it one two three testing one two three on sideband audio check it one two three one 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 breaker two six breaker four zero breaker four zero radio check Showing it's 40 watts, but I think it's doing 50. And it doesn't do FM, watch. Yeah, it does FM, good. Before it couldn't do FM. Audio check one, two, three. Audio check one, two, three. Audio check one, two, three. It won't do FM, watch what happened. That's back in uh, manual mode. Audio check one, two, three. Look at the same. Go to AM. It'll do AM. Watch this. Audio check at 123, 1.5, 1.5 on channel 26, 1.1 on 0, but 1.5. Audio check at 123. Audio, audio, audio. Breaker 2 side, side, for audio check at 123, 25 watts. 25 watts by doing about 50 audio check at one two three. I don't trust that thing on the meter, but I trust the SWR The SDR is really quite close 1.1. This one's showing 1.5 audio check at one two three audio check at one two three audio check at one two three It's not heating up testing one two three Hope it's not heating up inside of those things But it does its tune. But it probably is look different. Probably wouldn't take it off your bail. This will be the beam antenna. We have to probably get it tuned right. We have to get those down to four watts. And I'll bet you it'll swing to 100 watts. That's probably what it'll do. When you put it in manual mode, it won't do it all the tune like this. But that's what I'm going to be doing with the beam antenna with that. I hope we can get some luck on that with the beam. But we'll have to put one of those. We'll have to try a different radio. But it'll do this radio pretty good. You might not be able to hear me that good. But it probably would. You can't trust the wattage. It could be a little bit off. I don't know the quad 5. But it could be pretty close. It showed 52 watts one time. 36 watts. See? Let's try something. Let's see if we can call a guy out with this thing. CQDX, CQDX, call it CQDX. This is UTX 362. This is UTX 362 from East Tennessee. Call it CQDX. Is this radio working out here? Give me a shout back if it's working. CQDX. 
CQDX, CQDX, call on CQDX, this is UDX 362, this is UDX 362, call on CQDX, any stations out here. I'm over in East Tennessee, trying out a Quad 5 Top Guns technology, turn to plus 2, this is UDX 362 set, so we're calling CQDX, we're trying out here in East Tennessee this evening. Uh, can anyone hear me on this auto tuner with the AT100 out here in Tennessee? This is UDX 362. UDX 362. UDX 362. We're trying out here in Tennessee. Call on CQDX. Call on CQDX. Any stations out here today? Addition to That Mako uh, antenna is working good, man. You're smoking between 7 to 8 pounds out here in East Tennessee. Your beam is doing good out here. How's my radio making a trip with the Quad 5 with the Top Guns technology? I'm running an auto-tune right now, trying out this thing with the AT100. I'm videotaping it right now, but I'm running a Mako V5000 20 feet off the ground, a Turner Plus 2 microphone, a Quad 5 Top Guns technology. The Cobra 139 is sounding clean out here today. This is UDX 362 said so from Tennessee. That's Australia. Holy shit. Wow. That's Australia, man. We'll do DX land this hour. Wow, the guy on a beam. This is what I need. This is a bad. Holy oh, shoot! Hey, Unit 399, we can hear you up in Tennessee from South America, man. You sound great out here. This is UDX 362, East Tennessee out in the United States. We're about 42 miles west of Knoxville, running a Quad 5 Top Guns technology of Mako V5000 20 feet off the ground with a Turner Plus 2 mic. Sounding good out here today at 7 to 8 pounds. You're here coming in right now. Three ninety nine South America, you're blowing smoke at nine pounds in East Tennessee, United States, forty two miles west of Knoxville. How is this radio making a trip with the Quad Five Top Gun technology with the Mako V five thousand twenty feet off the ground? Turn to plus two, but your Cobra one thirty nine is making a trip. I have one of those radios too on a forty channel modified one. I have. I'm gonna wave it back out here from Tennessee. UDX three hundred sixty two said so. You did three ninety nine towards South America. I hope you heard me. We had South America came on the skip. That's amazing. I don't know if you heard me, but he's on a beam. CQDX, CQDX, this is UDX 362, this is UDX 362, call on CQDX, call on CQDX. How about any stations out here tonight? How about any stations out here tonight? This is UDX 362 from East Tennessee, waving from the United States. Hey, 399 down in South America. Is my radio working down there? This is UDX 362 from Tennessee, waving. That's a long shot, guys. See down toward Chile? 
He's getting Australia and they're getting South America. It's no luck on it right now, but they're on beams. If we can hear him, you he can hear me. CQ, call CQDX, call CQDX, call CQDX. This is UDX 362. This is UDX 362 from East Tennessee. Call CQDX from the United States. Come on. I'm hey, down in Columbia, South America, call CQDX, Unit 399. This is UGX 362 from Tennessee, United States. Outside of Knoxville, Tennessee, wave it on back on a quad five top gun. Make a V5000 20 feet off the ground with a turn plus two. You sound like a local up here in Tennessee. Union 399 down in British, down in Columbia, South America. You're blowing smoke out here today. Hey, how about Unit 399 down in South America, down in Columbia, South America? You're blowing smoke up in the United States. Eastern Tennessee, want to say so, say hi to you out there. Sounded good on my quad five top gun out here, but make will be 5,000, 20 feet off the ground, but it's making a trip here from Tennessee. This is UGX 362 from East Tennessee waving. Call CQDX, call CQDX. How about the unit 90, How about the unit 399 in South America, down in Columbia, South America? This is UDX 362 from Tennessee waving. There's a lot of QRM on this thing. Bad conditions. I don't know if this thing's affecting it. How about any stations out here today? Can anyone hear me out here in Tennessee? UDX 362 out here in East Tennessee. Want to do a radio check? Doing 30 watts right now. CQDX, call CQDX. This is UDX 362. This is UDX 362 from East Tennessee. Call CQDX. But I did a radio check on 19. The guy heard me. Probably a lot of QRM, but it's working, guys. But I don't have it auto tuned right now. I'm going to keep it like that. You can do it manual tune like that. It'll be fine. It'll do like 10 watt dead key. What's side 38 right now? Australia's coming in right now. I'm going to need to disconnect this thing later and put the meter back on. One point seven, looking good, guys. Looking good. Audio check one two three. Call CQDX. Call CQDX. Call CQDX. Call CQDX. You can't trust that. Call CQDX. This is UDX three hundred sixty two. This is UDX three hundred sixty two from East Tennessee. Call CQDX. Any stations out there today? It did fifty two watts. One dead key on the same. Let's try this right now. CQDX, call it CQDX. This is UDX 362. This is UDX 362 from East Tennessee. Call it CQDX. Any stations out here today? Let's try this. Turn this little bad boy off. I'm going to shut this off. CQDX, call it CQDX. This is UDX 362 from East Tennessee. Call it CQDX.
Hey Alberta, Canada. How about Alberta, Canada? This is UTX 362 out here. Hearing a lot of QRM over in East Tennessee, but you're way out in the distance. I think it's Australia coming in right now, but this is UTX 362 from East Tennessee. Wave it on back on a quad five top guns technology. Running a Mako V5000 with a turn of plus two. I hope you guys have the same condition say I don't think it's my AT100 doing, but it's beautiful, guys. This is going to work good for the beam. As long as you don't overdrive this thing and smoke it. But it could do a 10-watt dead key, but we'll put it down to 4. But it'll still work. It does work on these things if you have a beam antenna. It's the best bet I can don't have to trim the antenna on the beam. But this is running on a uh, Maple Leaf 5000. I could go anywhere on the band with this right now. It could do for ham radio CBs. You think about it. This is an amazing little tool. There's down under, but if you want to jump around those areas, this thing will do it with the quad fives. But you got to make sure you check it out, dead key it down with the knob, and then you turn it back up when you talk. This is in manual mode right now. The automatic one shows the dots. So I'm not putting it in automatic mode right now. One sixty seven Australia, one sixty seven Australia, UTX three sixty two from East Tennessee, waving back from the United States. Sounded good out here. Hey, 111, 111 Australia, you're making a trip about five to six pounds over East Tennessee. We're about 42 miles west of Knoxville, Tennessee. I hope my quad five top guns make it a trip with a turn of plus two and a Mako V5000, 20 feet off the ground. We're barefoot out here tonight. A176 on the side. This is UGX362 from East Tennessee waving on back. Sounded good out here tonight at around 7 o'clock, almost around 8 here in Tennessee. UGX362 waving back to Australia today. A176, is my radio making a trip to Australia right now, all the way from East Tennessee? We're about 42 miles west of Knoxville, Tennessee. They call me Richie out here, and I'm going to wave it back out here. This is UDX 362, quad-five top guns technology, running barefoot with a Mako V5000, 20 feet off the ground. A176, you're starting to come in really good out here in East Tennessee, almost 7 pounds. You're smoking up here on my quad 5 out here, top gun, but you're sounding beautiful out here today. Just want to let you know, how's my radio making a trip down to Australia today? 176 down in Australia, UDX 362 from Tennessee. Man, I would be nice if I talked to these guys. It was 362, 362 from Tennessee, that's who I am, not 35, 362 from East Tennessee, outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. Hey, you guys down in Australia, it's not 365, it's 362 from Tennessee, waving on back from East Tennessee. You guys are 9,000 miles away from me. Just want to let you guys know I'm running a quad five top guns technology barefoot, and we're running a Turner Plus 2 microphone tonight, but you're coming in really good out here in Tennessee. This is UGX 362 set, so we're running on a Mako V5000 out here, 20 feet off the ground, but you guys are smoking out here tonight in East Tennessee. UGX 362 set, so we're waving on back. Man, I want to get some Australians. That would be great. We're starting to lose them now, guys. Well, you can hear them on this thing. Australia it's doing this trick. It's hard to get these guys that far away. Think about it. 9,000 miles of way long distance.
Go ahead, Tasmania, Australia. Go ahead, Tasmania, Australia. UDX 362 says so from East Tennessee. Wave it on back on a quad five out here this evening. How about Tasmania, Australia? How about Tasmania, Australia? UGX 362 from East Tennessee, United States. Wave it on back. God, wouldn't it be awesome to get that far away? It has reached Australia one time with this radio on the Trim 300. It did one time. You guys seen it on video a while back. That was before it did that. I don't know what radio those guys were on. Hey, World Radio 26 Tasmania out there. This is UGX 362 from Tennessee calling. Sounding good at 78 pounds in East Tennessee over the United States. I'm going to wave it on back to you. World Radio down in Australia. World Radio down in Tasmania, Australia. UDX 362 from East Tennessee outside of Knoxville, Tennessee in the United States. But you're waving it back. You're sounding good out here today on my Quad 5 Top Guns technology. This is UDX 362 over in East Tennessee, United States outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. Sounding good on my Turner Plus 2 with a Mako V5000 20 feet off the ground. I hope I made it to trip to Australia this evening. Hey, how's this ready to make it the trip to Tasmania down in Australia? UTX 362 from East Tennessee. Wave it on back. I hope you guys are having a great day down in Australia. How's my radio making a trip down there? UDX 362 calling CQDX out here in East Tennessee, United States. So you check out my YouTube channel, Foxman362, World Radio on YouTube. Type in UDX362 and you'll be able to find us out there. We're part of the United Delta X-Ray CB Radio Club out here in the United States. We have a guy down in Australia that's part of our club too. UDX362 said so we're way back from East Tennessee. That meter is pecking, guys. Just want to show you what it's doing. That's in bad conditions, but it's hard to hit someone that far away, but it's doing its thing, guys. This is what I wanted to have it do. This is for the beam antenna. But the guy in the trucker told me my radio was working. He's doing 7 pounds. The guy had a stock radio, but not a striker. We'll have to check it later on to see what it looks like on the other meter. We had to try it out, but it does all those things you guys saw. So I'm going to let you guys go. Catch you all guys later. The AT100 is working good. But it does that 10 watt deck you and turn it low on the knob like this. And it will do like 16 watts. It's okay. But I think 390 should try out one of these to see what it does. It won't hurt your radio. It can't fry your radio nothing if you do everything right and solder everything right. It's doing what I wanted to do. You can hop anywhere on the band with these things. Trust me. It's like that um those UC type radios, but that's what this thing's hooked up to something like this to the Quad 5. It's not going to hurt it because the Quad 5 has an SWR protection and bolt protection. It won't hurt it. You want to put it on something like this, won't hurt it. We'll have to try it out when the beam happens, when it happens. So I checked the box day in the beam. Everything looks pretty good shape, and I'll have to look at it later, but I was checking everything. It looks like really good quality made kind of material I got. The Sierra SY 2700, uh, 27, yeah. It is very good quality. So we just heard Australia a while ago. I think we got a lot of QRM in Tennessee. I don't know if you guys are in bad condition. Maybe we're having another solar flare, but this thing is working beautiful. I talked to a guy on truck for about 25, 45 minutes ago, uh, about 30 minutes ago before I turned on this video, and it was talking to him pretty good with this thing. I went down, you guys saw the video. So I'm going to catch you guys later. Get one of these, purchase one. I may, I had to do my own, you have to do your own soldering, we're probably going to work this on the demon thing when we get time, and maybe we can run a box on it so it's uh, okay, got to make sure it's okay, it only can take a 10 watt dead key, but you can go lower, it will still okay, be okay, but you can go into manual mode, and it'll be alright, 
The way you go to menu mode is when you go on 26 megahertz with the beam antenna and leave it stock that way. Then you go up to the 27 megahertz band like up in the 38 and 37. You turn on this thing for the beam antenna. That's the only way I'm going to run this. And probably with the box of two see what it does. So you guys saw this meter there and I think it's pretty accurate on this meter. But I don't know if the quad five is doing that kind of accuracy. It's but at one time I saw it 52 watts on the power when I clicked it one time and it showed 52 watts on this thing. Let's talk to you. Go ahead, World Radio. Go ahead, World Radio down in Australia. This is UDX 362 said so from East Tennessee, United States, waving on back. I probably need 100 watts to talk to these guys over off Australia, but they can't hear me, but they probably do. It's a long way down, guys. The sun's about setting soon in East Tennessee. But we heard New Zealand that one night like this. Conditions might change later tonight. Gonna put this right out here. It's not even heating this up that much. CQDX, CQDX is UDX 362. This is UDX 362 from East Tennessee calling CQDX. CQDX, CQDX is UDX 362. This is UDX 362 from East Tennessee calling CQDX. We're in manual mode. So it's doing all right, guys. But you can put it in automatic mode and make it does its trick. So it will go like above when it does. So I'm going to catch you guys later. Don't forget to check out CB Radio, CB Radio, uh, UDXCBRadio.com. So 390 will ch check you in. He'll tell you about the club and everything. If you guys want a UDX number, number you got to go to that site and his email address is on there. Check them all out when you get time. And there's some kind of conditions going on right now. So I hope this radio is doing okay. But you guys see what I put it on? I think it's going to do good with the beam antenna. We'll see what happens when we get it when we get time. So we had to try that out today to see how it's working. So I talked to a local truck driver about 30 minutes ago, 37 minutes ago, he says I was working good. He was like 12 miles away and he could still hear this thing going good. So I'll catch you guys later and have a good day. And just want to try out my UT100 on the Mako V5000, see how it does. It's not going to fry this thing as long as you put a box on it. As long as you don't go above 150 watts, you'll be okay. And you'll be alright. And you'll be okay with the radio. So I'll catch you guys later. And I'll catch you soon. We'll bring out some more videos soon. We want to try out this cool baby today. I think it's going to be a success for the beam antenna. We'll see what happens. But I like to run this with it at the same time. That would be nice. So I'll catch you guys later. I just want to show you my AT100. That I did the design to that thing. That took a lot of months to get until April when I put it together. It's doing what I wanted to do. Catch y'all later. We'll bring out some videos sometime soon.